Concurrent forces are really important because they allow us to find the resultant force acting on a single particle. Concurrent forces simply are forces that act on a body in which their lines of actions all intersect at a common point. Let's say we had this body of mass, in this case a really messed up potato. And to this body we applied several forces, P, Q, and S. If I drew out each of these forces' lines of actions, you'll notice that all these lines intersect at a common point, which I'll call A. Now, let's say I added another force to this body. I'll name this force T. If I drew out force T's line of action, notice how it does not intersect at the common point A. This means that force T is not a concurrent force amongst P, Q, and S. However, we do notice that the line of action for force T does intersect at the line of action for the force P and S. I will call these points B and C respectively. This means that force T and P are concurrent forces. It also means that force T and S are concurrent forces. But force T, P, and S are not concurrent forces since they do not intersect at a common point, at the same common point. When we model things as particles, the forces acting on the particle are naturally concurrent forces since all of their lines of actions all share a common intersection point, that being the particle itself. Particle models are simple ways of modeling bodies of mass as a single point. We can easily find resultant forces graphically or by our polygon rules if bodies of mass are modeled as particles and the forces acting on that body or those bodies are concurrent forces.